I recently watched Netflix's Dark, and honestly, it's the best sci-fi show I've ever seen. I can confidently say that, like me, Dark is a favorite for many of you. Being an outstanding show means there are plenty of incredible moments. We've rounded up the best of them for you. Moments that will linger with us forever. Obviously, there are spoilers ahead. If you haven't finished watching the show, proceed at your own risk. But hey, who am I to judge? Michael Conwald is Mikkel Nielsen. Lieber Jonas, wenn du das liest, ist alles bereits unwiederbringlich geschehen. Es kann nicht mehr geändert werden. This is the initial plot twist that set the tone for the entire series. It had to make the cut. In the closing moments of season one, episode five, Jonas receives a letter from his deceased father, revealing that he is the lost child Mikkel, who disappeared in the woods on November 4th, 2019. Michael grows up with his biological parents, reliving everything, as he must follow his destiny to ensure Jonas's existence. Wir sind Wanderer in der Dunkelheit. Dies ist meine Wahrheit. It becomes achingly clear that he had to sacrifice himself for his son's life to unfold. If alles ist miteinander verbunden. Mikkel. Michael. The stranger discloses that he's the older Jonas. Ich bin du. Mein Name ist Jonas Kahnwald. This major revelation cements the show's central theme, the ceaseless struggle between fate and free will. Ich kann dich nicht herauslassen, weil du dann nicht zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Verändere ich jetzt meine Vergangenheit, verändere ich auch meine Gegenwart. Despite Jonas and the stranger having intersected earlier, the revelation catches everyone off guard. Following his abduction by Noah, Jonas implores the stranger to release him, only to be told that events will unfold as they are meant to. Das ist nur ein kleiner Teil eines riesigen Geschwürs. Ich habe Dinge gesehen, die kein Mensch jemals sehen sollte. Agnes Nielsen, Ulrich Nielsen's grandmother, fatally shoots her brother Noah. Season 2 introduces Agnes, Ulrich's grandmother, and notably, Noah's sister. Dieser Knoten lässt sich nur lösen, indem man ihn voll und ganz vernichtet. For the majority of the series, Noah is portrayed as the antagonist. However, the season finale unveils him as merely a pawn in Adam's schemes. Du führst keinen Krieg gegen Gott. Du führst ihn gegen die Menschheit. Noah starts to doubt Adam's narrative upon discovering Charlotte is his daughter. In a pivotal moment, Agnes resurfaces, aiming to join Sick Mundus. She tragically shoots and kills her own brother, altering the dynamics of the intricate web of relationships. Jonas, manipulated by Adam, implants the idea of suicide in Michael's mind. Ich hab sie nicht gefunden. Jemand hat sie mir gezeigt. Wer? Yeah. As per Adam's deceitful guidance, Jonas believes he must prevent Michael's suicide to break the cycle. However, it's later revealed that Michael never considered suicide. It was Adam's psychopathic influence that coerced Jonas into planting the notion in his father's mind in the first place. Adam unveils himself as Jonas, just 50 years older. Ich bin du. No excuses for being surprised anymore, but damn, they got us again. This was the moment that left us all going. What the fuck? Amidst the chaos, Jonas confronts Adam about his identity. In response, Adam loosens his collar, exposing the scar on his neck, the same scar Jonas bears. Adam is Jonas, determined to obliterate the world that Jonas is striving to save. Mind-boggling, isn't it? Es fehlt nur noch ein kleiner Schubs. Charlotte discovers her mother is actually her daughter, Elizabeth. My body is a cage. This jaw-dropping revelation unfolded in the season 2 finale and was later confirmed by Adam when revealing it to Noah before orchestrating his demise. Charlotte is deine Tochter. Sie ist Elisabeths Tochter und ihre Mutter. The season finale exposes the truth through Polaroid pictures, showcasing that the baby Elizabeth held with Noah was none other than Charlotte. Adam murders Martha in front of Jonas, asserting it's a necessary step for his destiny. Dear. 
As you can probably imagine, the season 2 finale was very emotional for all of us audiences. On the day of the apocalypse, Jonas, expecting to meet his mother, encounters Martha instead. This was a very a seemingly beautiful moment in this dark show. However, given the show's title is dark, dark events unfold. Adam emerges, faces Jonas's accusations of deception, and ruthlessly shoots and kills Martha, claiming it as an essential act for Jonas to become the man he's fated to be. Right when Jonas and we audiences grapple with Martha's death, another Martha emerges. In the ultimate twist, Martha with bangs appears, leaving everyone, including Jonas, utterly shocked. When questioned about her timeline, she drops the bombshell that she's from another world, as if the show wasn't confusing enough. <laughs> Season 3's rare light moment. Aber ihr müsst versprechen, dass es niemandem weiter erzählt. Erzähl. Letzten Sommer ist. The running joke about Torben Waller never sharing the story of his injured eye. Torben gets near the point of revealing how he lost his eye, but something always interrupts him, even in the origin world. Just when he's about to spill the beans, a blackout occurs, and once again, he's interrupted. And with that, we never knew what happened to his eye. Is that okay? Is this just the apocalypse? <laughs> Pregnant Hannah experiences deja vu seeing a yellow jacket. Hey, everything okay? I'm not sure. I think I just had a deja vu or something. At this point, the Adam and Eve world ceases to exist, yet this is a lingering remnant. You can say it was a glitch in the Matrix. Following this, Hannah decides to name her child Jonas. I always thought Jonas was a good name. The stranger, now resembling Adam, murders his own mother, Hannah. Despite not being well liked by many, Hannah's death remains chilling especially since it's her own son committing the act. This marks the moment when the stranger takes the ultimate step and transforms into Adam. <laughs> Jonas and Martha's final moments, where Jonas said that, we are a perfect match and not believe anything else. You and I are perfect for each other. Never believe anything else. As they disintegrate, Jonas gazes at Martha and utters the classic line heard a dozen times throughout the seasons. The profound finality of this scene brings a tear to our eyes. As we conclude our exploration of the standout moments from Dark on Netflix, we're left with indelible scenes that have etched themselves into our memories. If I've overlooked any significant moments, please share them in the comments below. From unexpected twists to poignant emotional arcs, these moments encapsulate why Dark holds a special place. For those who have delved into the series, they know that these events have played a pivotal role in shaping its intricate story. As we bid farewell to the enigmatic town of Winden, these moments continue to resonate, transforming Dark into more than just a television show. It's an immersive experience that lingers in our minds long after the screen fades to Dark.